Hi there, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here on this lovely Monday. Today I have the weekly market housing update statistics from last week. So let's jump right into those numbers and let you guys know what's going on in Pinellas County. These numbers I track weekly and present to you on Mondays, uh, you know, today. The information comes directly from the Stellar MLS here in Central Florida. If we dig a little deeper, we see that we had 368 new listings last week, and that is down 9% from 402 the previous week. So this is a trend we've been seeing for many, many weeks now. On the sold side, we had 537 closings countywide, and that is up almost 9% from 490 the week before. Now we expect to see that because it's the last week of the month and closings often happen on that last week of the month. So that's, that's something that we expect to see. Also trending upward again are the pending listings. 659 properties went under contract last week compared to 605 the week before, and that is an upward trend of about 8% also. This trend of the solds and pendings continued, continuing to outpace the listings that are coming on the market is a little bit worrisome, only because, you know, what happens when you have inventory that is falling and demand that is continuing to rise? You have a situation where you end up not having a whole lot of listings compared to the number of people who want to buy properties. And what happens, of course, is the price goes up, which is great for sellers, but it's a very, very difficult market for buyers to be in. Next week, I'm putting together a new video about how to present the strongest offer as a buyer. And we'll look at things like an escalation clause. We'll have a lender later this week talking about pre-approvals. And we're also going to look at a few other things that you can do as a buyer to make your offer a little bit stronger. So if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and make sure you subscribe so that you can stay tuned and see that next week. The other numbers I keep an eye on also tell me a little bit about seller behavior. So for example, the properties that went off the market, the canceled listings are up about 10%. We had 70 properties that came off the market last week compared to 63 the week before. And we didn't have nearly as many coming back on the market from previously. So properties that had previously been taken temporarily off the market, of those, not as many came back on the market. They actually decreased by about 13%. So what we see is a trend, again, not as many listings coming on the market, Plus we have listings that are exiting the market and of those listings that have previously been canceled, we don't have all of those coming back onto the market. And so again, that sets up a situation that's very, very difficult for buyers to work with as far as purchasing a property, but it's fantastic for sellers because housing prices continue to increase and market demand for your properties continues to increase, which puts you in a good position as a seller. It's a really good time to be a seller right now. However, that does not mean that you can just go out and ask whatever you want to ask for an asking price for your property. There are still, you know, condition plays a part, location plays a part. All of these things still have to come together to uh, present a good option for a buyer. Otherwise your property will continue to stay on the market. They're not just flying off like hotcakes with, you know, no consideration for anything else. They're, the buyers are still being a little bit, a little bit picky, let's say. So I know a lot of sellers are waiting to see what the economy does here in the next few months and into 2021. If you have the ability to sell a house, now is a good time to do so. Uh, a lot of folks are worried that there are a lot of foreclosures coming and that the housing market is going to crash. And we just do not see any indication that that is going to be something that happens in this recession uh, like it did in the last one. So I will have another video later on this week talking about foreclosures and why we don't expect foreclosures to crush the housing market this year or even next year. That is our housing market for 
August 31st for the previous seven days. I do this every Monday. So come back and take a look at what the housing market is doing week by week and of course month by month. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great afternoon.